American philosopher and educator John Dewey said, We don't learn from experience, we learn by reflecting on experience. The Stoics practiced journaling to reflect on their experiences over 2000 years ago. Marcus Aurelius' meditations were the philosopher emperor's journaling exercise. These were never supposed to be published as they were only for Marcus' self-reflection, and yet these writings are among the most influential texts of Stoicism. Marcus Aurelius kept a diary to remind himself how to live a virtuous life. Keeping a Stoic journal can help us better handle setbacks, take risks, build more self-discipline, increase our well-being and become a better person. In this video, I'll introduce you to 5 science-based benefits and 3 Stoic journaling practices to help you better understand why and how we should reflect daily. Benefit number 1. Journaling can reduce depression and anxiety. Various studies have shown that keeping a journal can reduce the overall intensity of depression. Further, regular journaling can reduce anxiety symptoms and the frequency of depressive thoughts. Anxiety and depression are often accompanied by negative thoughts. When we journal, we can put all these thoughts in our head on paper and organize them better so that we can process them more objectively and analytically and then challenge them and respond to them more appropriately. Benefit number 2. Journaling can boost our immune system. In a Cambridge University study, researchers found that 20 minutes of daily journaling practice improved overall immune function and lowered the risk of getting sick. Improved immune system function led to fewer stress-related doctor visits, a reduction in blood pressure and improved lung and liver function, among other benefits. It's amazing that daily reflection in the form of journaling can have such a positive impact on our health. It is related to the fact that journaling allows us to place the events of a day in our overall perspective of life so that we create a more positive and holistic self-image of ourselves in relation to the rest of the world. From such a positive and holistic view of ourselves, we are less prone to anxiety and depression which can produce a vast array of physical health problems. Benefit number 3. Journaling can help improve well-being after traumatic or stressful events. Journaling can help us recover more quickly from stressful or traumatic events because by writing them down, we can better process them. Instead of repressing what we experience, we deal with it in order to process it. The recovery of people with depression or anxiety disorders can be accelerated by keeping diaries. In such cases, repetitive and intrusive thoughts often surface that are difficult to process. Journaling allows us to put these thoughts on paper so that we can process them more effectively and deal with them better. Benefit number 4. Journaling can improve our memory performance. The practice of daily writing can improve our memory function. It can optimize the brain's absorption, processing, retention and retrieval of information. Furthermore, it enhances the brain's attention and strengthens long-term memory. By keeping a diary, we process and reflect on events and can also analyze them for certain patterns. If we recognize certain patterns in our behavior or in the behavior of others, we can react better and more appropriately to future events. Benefit number 5. Journaling helps cultivate gratitude. In our daily lives it can be easy to forget all the good things in our lives and take them for granted. This can lead to unhappiness, worry and anxiety. As countless studies have proven, gratitude is directly linked to increased physical activity and improved sleep quality, which promote long-term well-being. Further, gratitude increases optimism, which makes us feel happier and has a positive impact on our health. In turn, 
reducing depression and anxiety. Daily reflections allow us to think about all the good things in our lives and be grateful for them. If you don't keep a journal yet, I hope these reasons encourage you to start and give it a try. The Stoics practiced journaling over 2000 years ago. How did they do that exactly? Following are three Stoic practices of journaling. If we want to become a better person, experiencing more serenity and inner peace, we must first become aware of our lives, that's what self-reflections are for. First, reflect on your day. Seneca used to review his day every evening, he wrote, How sweet is the sleep which follows the self-examination, how calm, how sound and careless is it when our spirit has either received praise or reprimand, and when our secret inquisitor and censor has made his report about our morals. I make use of this privilege and daily plead my cause before myself. Seneca asked himself the following three questions at the end of each day. First, what bad habit of yours have you cured today? Second, what wise have you checked? And third, in what respect are you better? Epictetus quotes the relevant lines from the Pythagoreans' golden verses to his students. The three questions are, first, what did I do wrong? Second, what have I done right? And third, what has been left undone? Through this exercise, we become more mindful during the day not to repeat the bad habits and continue the good ones, and it also helps us not to act too impulsively. It further facilitates us to be able to look at our thoughts more objectively and better distinguish what is in our power and what is not. This leads to more serenity and inner peace. Second, Journal of Gratitude. The entire first book of Marcus Aurelius' Meditations is a revelation of gratitude to people he appreciated in his life. Marcus knew that everything is in a constant state of flux and transient, and we should be grateful for what we have, as it is not permanent. A lack of present joy will lead to unhappiness and dissatisfaction. Happiness is not having everything in the world that we desire, but rather being grateful for all the blessings we already have. Since our brains are evolutionarily more focused on the negative to protect us from potential dangers, we need to take care of ourselves to strengthen our focus on the positive. Here, a gratitude journal can help us very well, for example, by writing down every evening three things for which we were grateful on that particular day. The following questions can help. What good experiences did I have today? For which people in my life am I grateful? Who was especially kind to me today? What did I particularly enjoy doing today? Which things have made my everyday life easier? For what new insights am I grateful? What do I appreciate about my family, friends, work colleagues? Third, writing down stoic principles. This is about repeating basic stoic ideas several times until we have them ingrained in us so that we can apply them directly in our daily lives when necessary. If you have read the Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, you will have noticed that there is a lot of repetition. Marcus had practiced this very exercise, quoting Stoic principles over and over again or writing them down in his own words. Constant repetition of these principles will help us remember them better and make it easier for us to live by them. As Epictetus said, if you keep these thoughts constantly at hand and reflect on them constantly within your own mind to make them ready for use, you will never have need of anyone else to encourage you or strengthen your resolve. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel and more importantly, share the video with someone who can benefit from this content.
Thank you and stay inspired.